Le aziende che producono tante imbarcazioni e che rinnovano frequentemente. Companies that produce many boats and that frequently renew their range have the opportunity to experiment with new technical and architectural solutions, then choose among these solutions only the best ones for following models. This is the philosophy of the Italian shipyard Absolute Yachts, and this is the strategy with which they have developed the new Absolute 56 Fly. The style and other features they adopted recall other models of both the Fly and Navetta series. For example, take a look at how the surface of the window has increased compared to the past. The windows on the hull are very large, especially at the bow, while the ones on the deckhouse are lowered to touch the deck. For a better visibility, they replace the fiberglass gunwale with an open railing, moving it aft. They even left the structure open. The windows and the finishing create the idea of a suspended upper deck. In short, those characteristics of aesthetic heaviness or even an elegance of certain old-fashioned flies have completely disappeared here. The stem post is almost vertical. This is the most popular style nowadays. Then they enlarge the sides to grant more volume to the forward cabin. And in just a little while, we'll see the results of this solution. The forward deck is compact. It doesn't waste even a centimeter. Per godersi sia il lì. And to enjoy both the living area and the sun deck, you only have to move the furnishings. This area can be shaded by stringing a sun awning between carbon poles which are located under the sofa. They didn't settle for the usual fly, so they added a hardtop on which photovoltaic panels can be mounted, generating up to 1.5 kilowatt hours, reducing the use of the onboard generator. The upper deck is protected with a railing which replaced much of the fiberglass. Up here you have everything you need, the sun deck, two pilot seats, three additional forward facing seats, a living area for four or five people, a kitchen and other entertaining areas at the stern with customizable furnishings. If you maneuver from the fly through the manhole, you can also control the stern, but it is even more convenient and comfortable to moor using the third helm station. Here is the cockpit. Do you remember where we first saw this architectural solution? Well, always on an absolute, precisely on the 60 fly. This area is different compared to that of other boats of the same size. It's longer. It has modular furnishings that can be freely set up as you please, allowing you to enjoy the space better during the day and in the evening and ultimately change the way of life on board. Even the see-through gates grant a closer and more intense connection with the sea and lead us to the large beach area. This is what we all dream of, an all-glass and very welcoming salon. The dedicated large space to the living room with a sofa for five people around an extendable table and another sofa for three people on the other side. Under the seats, there are many lockers for storage. Large descending windows let in a lot of fresh air, cooling the environment in a natural way. The helm station stands out from the rest of the furniture. It is more technical and has darker colours to underline to those who sit here that to have the pleasure of navigating, they must add a sense of responsibility and concentration. The kitchen is next to the entrance French door. A glass pane prevents splashes on the living room fabrics and a grid marks the wall cabinets. They are all high-quality appliances. Next to the fridge, they've added a storage unit that seems to blend in with the landscape. In the salons of Italian boats, handrails are not so common. Here, at least, there is one. 
Under the piloting seats, there's the wine cellar. Let's go below deck. But remember that this boat is a 56-footer. That is around 17 and a half meters. Yet the owner's cabin is wide and magnificent. Take a look at it. Lie on the bed and enjoy this enchanting view. On the side, there's a ventilation porthole. You can feel the harmony, homogeneity of shapes and lines, comfort of movement. These are all the qualities that make us realize how much care has gone into the design of this room. For example, take a look at the piece of furniture that crosses the bulkhead between the bedroom and the bathroom. There are storage areas everywhere and they are easily accessible. You don't have to be a contortionist to access them. There is also a vanity as well as a walk-in closet. In the bathroom, the use of innovative materials makes other yachts suddenly look old. Going down to a slightly lower level, we find two guest cabins. The double has beds arranged one next to each other and the bathroom is on the opposite side. In the hallway, there's the washer dryer and through to the storeroom, you can access the technical compartments, which as always are easily accessible and well organized. That being a trademark of Absolute. The guest bedroom is very much alike to the owner's cabin. It's so large and bright that I'm not sure I would prefer this cabin or the one in the bow. The bathroom has an open space sink area. While the toilet and the shower are in two separate compartments, there are no steps in any cabin, so you can always move without the risk of tripping. But there is still one area that I have to show you. It's the crew cabin with two beds, two lockers and a bathroom, but above all with an independent access. Perhaps some of you are wondering if it's possible to pilot this yacht alone or if a captain is needed. Well, you can have up to three control stations, all of which with the joystick. Even when you are in here, in just an instant, you can go outside because you have the door on your side. This so you can act fast in case of an emergency or simply to give instructions to those who are helping you as you maneuver. When you are on an absolute, there is no need to go down to the engine room to understand which engine manufacturer they have chosen. This shipyard has been collaborating with Volvo Penta since the very beginning of the IPS project and, obviously, even on the 56 fly, they chose a system of this type. More precisely, the IPS 800, two pod drives combined with two diesel engines of 600 horsepower each. To be exact, they are the D8 engines, 7.7 litre, six cylinder in line, very powerful. Engine block and cylinder head in cast iron, forged aluminium pistons, and seven main supports for the crankshaft. In fact, these engines are also used in commercial applications. To facilitate the task of those who steer this boat, there is also the auto trim. You don't have to worry about controlling the trim because the interceptors do it for you. At 12 knots, we're already on play. We're on the Ligurian waters, right in front of the city of Savona. It's a beautiful spring day with a fresh breeze that is strengthening and raising the waves. We're at 2,400 RPM, which is the speed I prefer because the engines are already at maximum torque, meaning 1,750 newton meter. The result in terms of performance can be perceived. We are consuming 8.3 litres per mile, 8.4 actually, and the speed is 17.8 knots, 18 now. I 
I give it a little more gas and we're at 20 knots. Let's check the acoustic comfort of this boat. Abundantemente sotto i 70 dB. Way below 70 decibels, so definitely silent. Direi che abbiamo tutte le I would say we have all the conditions to go full throttle. Tolgo l'auto trim. I'm removing the auto trim because I like to feel the bow a little lighter. We're navigating against the waves and against the wind. Let's see what speed we can reach. We're at 27.5 knots with about 30% of fuel. Consumption has never exceeded 9 litres per mile. Certainly an excellent performance for a boat of this size and with this engine. So, if you can, Enjoy the boat and maybe even this Absolute 56 Fly. Questo Absolute 56 Fly.